Okay, so this is part two of my death battle Sweet Tooth versus Joker prediction. Now, like I said, I'm still going with Sweet Tooth for the win. In the factor that he has Smart Eclipse, it was from a non canon ending, it's still going to be taken into consideration for his brains. Plus, in some of his other games for canon. Uh, it was reported that Sweet Tooth maliciously hunted people down. Now, like I was saying in my last video, Joker has been easily beaten when he wasn't prepared for somebody. Like when he was trying to kill... Let me see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. He was attacking this woman so he could fight Batman, but Batman didn't come around. And instead was Bane. You can see on the look on Joker's face, he was not prepared for this. And what followed suit was a savage beating. In which, actually in the end of this fight, Joker ran away. Yeah, Joker ran away. Now again, since this battle is not a prep time, that means Joker will be unprepared for anything Sweet Tooth has to throw at him. Which means if Sweet Tooth decides to get out of his ice cream truck, also named Sweet Tooth, and gets into Dark Tooth, Joker will not be prepared for that. Or if he gets into Dark Tooth, again won't be prepared. So therefore, he's at a huge disadvantage there. And so, his best bet is to... is to... Now, honestly, I think he'd go along these lines and go with Titan Joker to fight Sweet Tooth's cars. But then Sweet Tooth would see this and transform into Sweet Bot and then mow Joker down. Now, don't get me wrong. If this battle takes place outside of the vehicles, there's no doubt in my mind that Joker's gonna win this easily. He's far superior than Sweet Tooth in hand-to-hand -hand combat and has way more gadgets for hand-to-hand -hand battles than Sweet Tooth does. Now, frankly, he is very intelligent. But again, his brains will be limited here. Sweet Tooth, on the other hand, he doesn't really prepare that much. He has everything he ever will need for a fight. Frankly, and if Death Battle decides to throw this into the mix, the Joker Mobile, there's no doubt in my mind that that's going to get torn to shreds in seconds. Because Sweet Tooth takes on cars like that all the time. So, with all of Sweet Tooth's cars and equipment, and the fact that he never really prepares for anybody, so he's not really at the biggest disadvantage here when it comes to time. Joker, though, is heavily dependent on his preparation time. I mean, he's outsmarted the entire Justice League, even Batman a few times with his preparation, though that takes years. So, yeah, by the end of this, I say, due to his prep time, now if Joker gets that poison in the Sweet Tooth, Sweet Tooth's dead, he's just dead. The gas, I honestly don't think can affect Sweet Tooth, because he's immune to fire and his head's on fire, so the gas meets it, it's just gonna get engulfed by flames into a fireball. Therefore, not really injuring Sweet Tooth, and not really getting him poisoned. But the poison from his blades definitely would win. But if this battle comes down to Titan Joker versus Sweet Bot, there's no doubt in my mind that Sweet Tooth would emerge the victor in that area. But if it comes down to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat on ground level without vehicles, the Joker's gonna win hands down. Way more weapons, way more brains, and frankly, he's a lot more able to predict what Sweet Tooth's able to do. So yeah, that's just one of my two cents. If it comes down to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, Joker wins, like man versus man, but if it comes down to machines, Sweet Tooth's gonna win easily. That's just what I think. Joker might have something up his sleeve for his 
cars. I'm not too sure. I don't know everything about them, but I do know Joker has doppelgangers, but those won't be taken into consideration due to those being Joker goons, and that would count as outside help. While well, Doctor Doom was able to use doc doppelgangers because he built them; they were machines, not living people. Which is also explains why Darth Vader couldn't use stormtroopers in their battle. The Dante vs. Bayonetta thing was probably the only time outside help came in, but then they both got outside help. And neither side really did much, to be honest. And someone made an argument saying that if Joker did bring a goon to the fight, Sweet Tooth would waste his ammo onto it. Now, Sweet Tooth, he can breathe fire. Yeah, he can breathe fire thanks to the demonic stuff from Calypso. And so... He could just melt a few of the doppelgangers if they ever do come into play, but honestly... I feel like since Sweet Tooth has all this stuff in his favor with the no prep time and he never really needed to prepare for any fights, I feel like he's gonna win this battle. That's just my two cents. You can... Honestly, this battle can go either way. I wouldn't be shocked if Joker wins, but I honestly think Sweet Tooth's gonna pull out the victory here.